Ah, bollocks. Okay guys, welcome to another Me and Meister 10 Minute Mashup. Um, now, this video is kind of in a response to my Arcade Perfect of Shinobi I did yesterday. It was a bit of a, a controversial one. Um, <laughs> I kind of, I, I did say that I thought <clears throat> that even the arcade game was slightly dull. Um, and there was a few people were saying how good it is. So I thought I'd better check it out again. And I, I actually, I played the, I played it on my main cab last night. Uh, and I've got to say, I actually quite enjoyed it. I mean, when I was making the video, uh, I was recording it on the PC and it was quite a small screen. But playing it on a, a proper full size uh, screen with proper controls, um, I've got to say, I really liked it. I mean, I'm a massive fan of uh, Rolling Thunder. And I've got to say, it's, it does kind of feel quite like it. You know, similar game mechanics. So, uh, yeah, I really quite enjoyed it. But, uh, now I think it was Gadget UK 164 um, he actually mentioned the PC Engine. Um, he did say that it was apparently meant to be really, really good. Now, when I do these Arcade Perfects, I always go to Wikipedia, which we know is 100% true. It uh, never tells any lies at all. Um, and it didn't mention the PC Engine because I would have definitely included it. So I thought to kind of balance things up, I'll, uh, I'll have a look at it today. So this is the PC Engine of Shinobi. So let's see how we, how we play this, how do we start it. Now looking at that, I'm guessing it was only released in Japan. Now the PC Engine is a fantastic console, it really is, I mean it was way ahead of its time. It was one of these consoles that I used to look at in, uh, you know, in the sort of computer and video games and I just, it just looked incredible. So that's jump, jump, jump. Now right off you can, this is fantastic looking. Going. Whoa! Ah, bollocks! The sound is excellent. Scrolling is just top notch. Graphics are really nice. I mean, hopefully you can see what I mean about the the Atari ST and Amiga one, and this one is vibrant, it looks like a video game. The 16-bit computer one just looked really, really dull. He doesn't want to die. Ah, oh, the same thing again! <laughs> I don't learn. Ah, this one looks really, really nice. It looks like an arcade game. Ah, oh, dearie me. Um, the Atari ST and the Commodore Amiga one was just really, really grey and horrible looking. The fact that it didn't really play particularly well didn't help it enough, but it was really just the, the bland uh, colour palette that they, they used. Right, there's no point in going up there, right, let's kill these guys first, that's it. Ah, you sod. <laughs> that is excellent. That is really good. Let's continue because it's not like we've... I'm just going to go back to level 1 anyway, so... Having the two buttons as well, one for jump. Whoa! Makes it a lot easier to play. And you can see there, the guy shoots three times and reloads. And that's what it did in the arcade one.
Whoa! That was <laughs> that was really lucky. I didn't mean to fall down there, but whoa! So I'm not sure about that. Is that? I mean, this seems just if you run away from me, this disappears. But yeah, this was a fantastic machine. Whoops, a daisy. It really, well, it still is a fantastic machine, but to own this back in, what, 1986, you know what I mean? The envy of all your pals, I mean, it was quite literally like having an arcade machine in your house. The one thing I did notice when I was playing this last night in my meme cab, um, Spider-Man isn't really Spider-Man, but it looks like the, uh, the home converter coders have taken a wee bit of artistic license and decided to make it look like Spider-Man. I'm not quite sure how you kill these, is it just random or what, or are you just going to keep hammering them? <laughs> Come on. I need to time it better. That's it. Have it. Ah, oh, you bugger! I was too busy watching the big ninja thing. You know, it's uh, Spider-Man. I've got to say, this is glorious. Damn it! I guess you need to try and jump over that thing. Let's use... Ah, oh, damn, I was trying to use the, the magical power thing. <laughs> yeah, let's go for one more go. This is really, really sweet. And I take back everything I said about the game. One thing you need to... If you're quite new to my videos, guys, or my channel, um, one thing you need to learn about what I do, when I play games, I never ever practice them. I don't practice them. That's not my style. I just power it up and play it. Um, and I make a judgement based on, you know, the the 10 minutes that I play it, so if I say I don't like a game, it's not to say the game is rubbish, it's possibly a really good game, but I just, you know, I, I make a judgement based on the 5, I'm saying 10 minutes, when I'm making an arcade perfect, I play the game for 3 minutes, so uh, please don't take offence if I say that I think a particular version is rubbish, that's just my, uh, my opinion based on the couple of minutes I've played it, and as anyone knows, you can't judge a game based on playing it for a couple of minutes. If anything, I would almost... I don't want to cause any more controversy, but I would almost say that this is more playable in the arcade. It's just really sweet. The music's brilliant as well.
Come here, you. Getting impatient there. <laughs> There's two buttons, and I still forget what one does what. And that is the reason I don't play stuff like uh, Street Fighter. does what? Hmm. Anyway, listen, that is the PC Engine version of Shinobi. Gotta say, that is excellent. And if I'd included that in Arcade Perfect, my arse, that would have won hands down. No mistake. As usual, guys, thank you very much for watching.